Hello, and welcome to Novatech University's Vertical Training Seminars. I'm Larry Boyhumer. On many other of these webinars, we've been focusing on the financial gains and the increased uh, bottom line benefits of IoT solutions. For this market, we're going to look at a little different space because we're looking at the first responder marketplace. While there's definitely a huge reliability requirement for this role, it isn't to make money, it's to save lives. The goal of today's presentation is to provide some basic information about this market without really trying to sell you on a particular vendor or product. A little bit about Novatech. As the slide mentions, our mission is to help customers deploy IoT or Internet of Things solutions in many ways. This definitely varies by the customer, as it may include things like providing flexible financial payment options, providing world-class pre- and post-technical sales assistance, and even providing some logistical services to help ease the burden of deployment. We obviously do this to make money, of course, but we also do it to fulfill a vision of helping customers figure out the complex world of IoT and how to make it, make it better for their business. As I mentioned, this is definitely not a space that worries about making money. Their job is to save lives and protect property. When most people think of first responders, they naturally think of the big three, police, EMS or ambulance, and fire. However, in our minds, it also encompasses a lot of specialized road and utility crews, engineers, especially the frontline ones, conservation officers, and even overall emergency response teams. It can also be for the investigators as well. Obviously, one of the most important things for this group is time. They simply can't wait for things to happen because seconds really do count in their industry. So waiting for lines to go up just is not feasible for them. Once the lines are up, the next thing they have to worry about is the reliability of them, and particularly the security as well. This is most important for them. Many of the roles are specialized, and as you can imagine, there may be a bit of a lack of workers in some of the key areas here. Finally, when time matters, it's vital to have the closest crew dispatched to an issue. So it's equally important at all times that the dispatchers and management knows where everyone is. When people's lives depend on the call coming in, it's important that you back up all key data centers. And that's the second point we list here. As well, police simply can't be everywhere. Setting up mobile solutions, which is the bottom point here, is ideal for gathering evidence and for monitoring large crowds, as well as for maintaining a bit of a baseline of what's going on in a community. Police organizations are very familiar with in-vehicle communications, which is the third point, as it allows for better information and to improve their safety. Officers especially have been looking up information for a few decades now on legacy radio networks. However, these networks were quite limited in terms of speed, so it didn't allow for a lot of graphics and a lot of images. What we're starting to see now is the use of high-speed networks to give more information to the field, as well as other first responders beyond police officers are starting to reap these same benefits. Also, when time matters, or if traditional landlines are not available, many organizations are using wireless-based connections, which is the top selection here, as a primary connection source for command posts and for mobile offices. There are a lot of benefits to using IoT solutions, and first responders have definitely been one of the early adopters of them. Here's just a few different benefits that your organization could expect to see. The first is when people have all the information they need, they make better decisions and are much more productive. As well, when you know where they are and you know what's going on with them, they're definitely more safe, both them as well as the community at large. When seconds count, Using wireless connectivity for quick setup definitely helps for quicker deployment times during emergencies. As well, when you need to get somewhere fast or have someone respond fast, you need to have the correct person and you need to know exactly where they are. Knowing where people are allows you to have much faster response time and be much more effective in your dispatching. Finally, while it's vital for most businesses to have uptime in their key servers, it isn't an option to have downtime on the main public safety servers. Because of that, they often will use backups of these servers, and this includes using wireless, and this helps to have a much higher level of service availability. Many thanks for your time today. Look forward to having you join us for future webinars. Thank you. Bye now.